Hey, fishy dirks, how we doing? All right, so here's where we're at with the pond. Just a quick little update. Obviously not done. You see over here, missing four pavers. They ran out. Uh, I had some, that's what got me started, and I bought all that they had. Uh, and they're supposed to get some more in soon. I went to another place, but the uh, caps or pavers or whatever you want to call them, people call them different things, um, they had a different size, which was sort of weird. I was pretty, I always assumed that these were the same size because they're caps for the cinder blocks, right? And the cinder blocks are all pretty standard sizes. Well, these people had a different size, so I did not get those. Uh, so they are leveled. They're squared. Um, some of them did settle a little bit, though. Where was it? There's a couple here that... Uh, settled so i don't know i think i'm okay with it though they're they're solid and again big slope on the property here let's look at this see over here there's about an inch and i still need to fill that in right here but uh, there's about an inch there will there will be about an inch and then down here you know look at the difference um you know there's quite a bit so it's it's quite a good slope um, but those are leveled uh, that's the basic layout of how the pond is gonna go that's you know the the rocks right there on the left are just set for now just to see how it looked and um, you know I, I have this these different types of rock that I picked up from the shore I have the uh, the sediment ones I'm assuming I'm not a geologist but I'm assuming that's a sediment one and I don't know what that is. Igneous? I don't know. I have no idea. I'm sure a geologist will come in and tell us how wrong I am. <laughs> but anyways, so I don't know if I want to do all the multiple colors of rocks or if I want to just stay. Like these ones are a lot easier to find. Maybe I just want to stick with those for the most part and just use these as accent, these different colored ones. I don't know. I haven't decided. i got to get a lot more of them, though. That's, that's about all I have right now. A little bit here, you know. Um... The waterfall at the top, weir, whatever you want to call it. Uh, oh, yeah, you can see my hand. It's going to come up. I'm going to put a paver underneath it and then mound around it with rocks uh, and soil. Uh, so it's going to come up, I don't know, maybe another six inches at the most. Um, and then, obviously, this isn't filled up all the way. Uh, don't know what I'm going to do with the overflow there. If I'm just going to leave it bare, bare so you can see it or try and do something with it to hide it more. Maybe put some rocks across the top of it, you know. Um, how about this? Across the top of it. Um, I don't know. Haven't decided yet. I'm going to mess around with all that. But at least the basic layout is in place. And I still got to clean up all my mess. All this rock is going to go in between over here. I'm going to put some um, landscaping uh, edging here and then down at the end as well, sort of curved because our walkway is going to go. See all the mulch over there? The mulch is going to go on that side of the pond. Here, let's walk over there so it makes it a little easier to explain. Um, yeah, you see the little garden. We're going to expand the garden. Uh, the walkway is going to be it's going to come up from that corner right there and sort of curve around to the edge of that pallet and then turn and then this whole section will be mulched and fenced in with that little just that little fence so this whole section will be mulched right here um, right until the edge of this and then maybe some edging right here too some landscaping edging here um, and we're going to put a bench right there so that you can sit and watch it. But this will all be a nice mulch area. Uh, maybe some potted plants there. Oh, that's the other thing. Um, on this end right here, I'm going to put either a bush or a dwarf tree of some sort. I don't want it to get too tall, but somewhere around 10 to 12 feet so that, um, you know, you see this is in direct sunlight. I don't know what time it is. It's got to be 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. I, I have no idea. Well, here, maybe I can see. It's 1.07. It's, it's 1 o'clock my time when I'm taking this video. Um, so 1 o'clock in the afternoon. This will get sun for another... Well, right now it'll get sun for another 7 hours or so today. That's just from today. So I definitely need to put something here to shade... 
the pond. And then, of course, I'm going to put dwarf or uh, water lettuce in there. And Kelly Foreman's going to send me some um, uh, hardy water lilies. Um, you know, duckweed, uh, um, other plants I'm going to put in there. Um, so there'll be plenty of shade in the pond itself. But I still want to have it shaded with something else. So I am going to put something right down here. Um, a nice little tree. All of those rocks are going to go in that part I talked about over there on the end. Uh, the sod, I'm going to break down some more. But I'm also going to slope some of it on this. Uh, because I really hate seeing those pavers. So I'm going to slope a little bit of soil on the side. But I'm also going to put plants that hang over. Um, same with over here. So this whole end, this whole end is going to be rocks. I decide I'm going to put rocks over the whole thing. But... There's going to be sections in there that have viney plants, you know, the creeping jennies and things like that. Um, so I'm going to leave holes in certain areas and put plants in there. And on, on, on the mound itself for, the, for this, um, I'm also going to put, you know, places to put plants in pots on that part. Uh, because it's going to be all in the rock and stuff. But in, in here... I'm just going to leave certain places for, for plants, but most of it will be covered up with those rocks. Um, and it doesn't look like it's level, right? I mean, look at this. Look at how much space there is here. But that is level. That's be, Again, because of the slope, that is level. You can see the water in the, uh, in the tub there even is level. So that, you know, everything's leveled. It just doesn't look it, you know, because of, uh, because of how how drastic this slope is um, so we're almost there I got to get these pavers you know get the pavers to finish the wall um, I, uh, I got a few bags of garden soil that I'm gonna put in certain strategic areas uh, and then maybe top off with what I have left I got quite a bit of it um, yeah and then I've got to decide on the the exact plants I haven't gone to the nursery yet to see what was available Again, I would like to do some native plants if I can find something that fits the bill. But if it doesn't, then I'll go with the other stuff, whatever they've got that's small and viney, uh, to go around it. Uh, this is going to be a bog filter, thanks to, you know, Sean Peck. I, I, I followed his, his instructions there, or I am going to follow. That's going to be a bog filter. And again, I didn't even clean it out. That's why it's so muddy. I didn't clean it out. I just, I just wanted to turn it on and see how the flow was going and it's I like it I like how it's how it's going everything looks good um, everything's set so the major parts of it are done now it's just the cosmetic parts other than this wall and filling in you know I gotta fill in here I gotta bury the hose better <laughs> bury the hose um, you know back here I just got it laying there uh, the electrical is gonna wrap around as well and um, haven't decided how I'm going to do that yet. Again, I've got some big PVC pipe. Uh, I, I don't know if it's 5 inch, 6 inch, whatever it is. It's a, the big tube stuff. I'm thinking I'm just going to um, run, just dig a trench and run the PVC up this way for the electrical uh, and run it up next to the house, which I don't want to show you because there's like all kinds of junk out there right now. It looks junky, <laughs> so hopefully you didn't see it there. Um, all right, that's that's about it. Uh, I think it's coming along really good. I'm thinking it's probably still going to be maybe as much as a month before I have fish actually in it. Um, again, I am going to put in a sponge filter in it for the winter time, uh, as long as well as a um, um, heater in this part, uh, just to keep the water moving. I'll shut down the pump, but for the winter time. I'll have at least this bottom part will be, um, it won't freeze 100%. So I'm hoping that I can overwinter some white clouds or some rice fish or something um, in there. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'll change my mind once I get it all set. Who knows? I ch change my mind a lot. So, all right. Well, happy 4th of July. Uh, not doing much today. Um, tomorrow we're going to go out and hang out with my uh, my son up at his, his, his new house. Um should be nice up there he's he's way upstate new york 
far, far up around the corner, not too far from Canada, about 30 miles from the northern part of New York State uh, to Canada, so way up there. Um, let's see, Monday, Chattanooga, Ed and I, we do our geek stream. Tuesday, uh, I have Jason from Redfish Bluefish, and then, um, yeah, I think that's it for this week. I think that's it for this week, so thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye.